Hello and welcome or welcome back to my angel channel and you already know what's about to go down in this reading. We're going to see, just to get some insight of what's going to happen for your next sexual encounter. Um, we're going to be pulling cards on the situation of where you are, who the person is, and what's going to happen for the sex itself. Now usually on my channel I do two um, cards for the group selection, but we're doing some of different today. We're going to be using these bracelets, um, my personal bracelets. So for group one, um, I pulled this, I'll take a picture of it probably, um, this, you know, blue bracelet, almost kind of see-through. For group two, you are this white school bracelet. Group three, you are the pattern bead bracelet with black and it's like what brown wooden beads. And then for group four, we have um, the tan skull bracelet. And I don't know, for some reason with my 18 plus readings, I still like to do four groups rather than my usual five. I don't know. But if you already know where you like to go with just these bracelets, then go ahead and check out the description box and um, the timestamps will be ready for you there. But if you want some extra, you know I got you. Ta-da! It's our charms. Um, I'll be pulling these and I'll fast forward. Give me one second. Okay, so for group one, you received two charms. We have the love charm, the O is a heart, and the gold butterfly charm where the top parts cut out to make a mask. For group two, you received two charms. You got the opalite stone as well as the Eiffel Tower charm. For group three, you received one charm. You got the passport charm. And then for group four, you received three charms. You got the uh, black, what was it called? Ah, black moonstone, this uh, little swirly charm with a girl on it, and you got this, what is this? Oh, it's an owl, an owl charm. Okay, so now if you never like to go with just charms, you know where the timestamps are, but if you want to see both the bracelet and charm, I'll pop that on screen now. Um, uh, so before you head off to your reading, uh, I got tea. So like, I'll be honest, this was, I did not want to do this topic for <laughs> the next reading, only because my past two readings were romantic like this, and so I really did try to form, film like a whole nother um, topic um, for the reading a few days ago, but literally as soon as I started, um, all these noises started coming about, like, out the window, like, all these honking, everything, and then, um, someone decided to change their tire by my window, and it had a whole bunch of noises banging on things, it was, like, the longest tire change ever, it's like, they didn't know what they were doing, but anyway, I was like, alright, clearly, maybe message is I'm not supposed to be doing the reading, and y'all, I kid you not, as soon as I stopped <laughs> recording, and as soon as I put everything away, all the noises just, woof. It got quiet again, so anyway, um, <laughs> this is a surprise reading for me, isn't it? As it is for you, I guess. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, if you if you're new to this channel, um, we also do a vibe check. Um, basically, in the vibe check, we I get your vibes, your what's going on with you, um, any type of questions you might have, and um, if what I get resonates in the vibe check, that means you chose the right group. So go ahead and. To your reading but if what i get does not resonate in the vibe check that i mean choose another group um so <laughs> well all that being said uh, i'll see you oh, 444 just popped up on my camera um i will see you in the vibe check okay bye bye hello there and welcome to the vibe check section for group one if you felt drawn to this group let's make sure it's the right one for you and if you got it grab a drink or a snack cheers to your reading Okay, let's go ahead and begin. I want to start off with the butterfly charm. Um, I'm sensing that this can be a type of persona you place, um, like in your life. Um, 
like for instance, a lot of people might just assume you are a people person, um, very sprightly and energetic. Um, I think, you know, you could come across as, um, you know, really social butterfly, honestly. But with this mask being the wings, I'm seeing that's kind of just on the surface. Like, yeah, you might have um, empathy for people. You might, you know, care for people. But at the end of the day, um, I think we're hiding um, maybe true feelings or I don't know. Like with this love charm, I see that you um, use a lot of energy to spread, you know, light and um, positive energy good vibes right um you, you i think you use a lot of your energy to listen and to understand others like even if it's just random like you weren't even trying to have a whole conversation you weren't trying to like hear this person's entire life story but here you are <laughs> and doing your best to like be empathetic with that and it's like dude i wasn't even trying this um i don't know i think yeah you might like in public um just be very friendly very open but i think it's like at home you have to be very quiet and reserved you know um because like with this clear bracelet i am sensing it's like you like to keep things simple actually i don't think you like to have too many things like on the to-do list here um I, I see that you like to live with like low stress and you do your best to like not let anything stress you out um whether it be other people whether it just be things that don't go your way you know i see that you're a very um go with the flow type of person um hmm. i am kind of sensing there is some type of uh worry or anxiousness or like sadness or pain i'm not sure where this is coming from hold up it almost kind of feels like it's like coming from self it's like i didn't i disappointed myself or i didn't want to disappoint myself um or like i got my hopes up for something you know and like and we don't know if it if it went through i don't know if it went through hmm and it's just like we're trying to do our best to protect ourselves here, you know. Like I see that you're trying to do that. But I think we're good for now. Let's go ahead and um, close out our vibe check here. If all I got just now has not been you, then now's the time to choose another group or another video. But if what I got just now has been you, then let's get right into your reading. Okie dokie group one, let's begin. I'm contemplating should I do it this way? Or this way. Now it feels better this way this time. We're gonna use the karma cards to um, get the situation of um, how this whole shebang bang is going to begin. Um, I want to get like the place, um, maybe how people are dressed. Um, we might even get some timing here, but we'll see within this reading as we get these cards. Oh, it's been a minute since I've recorded. It feels good to have cards in my hand again. Hello. Okay. We have the second house here. This can be a very homey um, place. Somewhere um, those can sit down and eat. I am sensing, yes. Okay, Libra. Um, second house is Taurus. Um, Taurus and Libra, they are both um, ruled by the planet of Venus. So I'm sensing that this place um, is is catered to the senses here. I'm sensing it's meant to be um, very comfortable. Um, I am sensing low lighting, okay? Dim lighting. Um, and I am sensing, uh, like, the food here is meant to be enjoyed in por portions. So like, this is like a place where you can't just order one thing. You'd have to order different things to enjoy a full meal, if that makes sense. Like I am seeing um, a traditionally maybe uh, Middle Eastern type of meal. Like, you can't just have warganab as the, as, you know, the main course. It has to be warganab. It has to be shorma. You can have, um, some baba ganoush too. Like, I, like, for everything. And this is how you can have the meal here. Um, 
I'm sensing that, yes, this is where people sit to eat, or you are sat and, and have eaten in this homey place. It's very homey, very comfortable, okay? I sense that it smells very nice. Um, it just smells like the food that's been cooking, or it just smells good, you know, perfumed air. Um, this isn't, like, I'm not saying that this starts outside. Um, this is starting, like, inside of this whole energy, okay? Um, and the energy I'm speaking of is the... A magnetic attraction that you have to each other, all right? This is the passion that begins. Because y'all, y'all could have, like, you know, walked in from outside where we all were talking, but I'm sensing that there isn't a click until you are set down. With this Libra card, I am sensing that both of you guys are dressed pretty nice. You're dressed to impress um, at this, um, at this time. I am sensing that they are really checking you out, okay? They're, and they're trying to make it, they're trying to play it cool, okay? Because they're checking you out when you're in the middle of your story, when you're talking about whatever was cool. And yeah, they're listening, I got you. But they're just, they're staring at your lips, okay? They're just staring at the way you form your words and they're just saying, what if I kiss them? How could we get this to be a date is this a date can i kiss them like um yeah they're gonna be kind of yeah into your lips for sure and your words they literally they really like listening to you speak they're really interested in you um oh my goodness confirmation and with all of those horns i was sensing voice okay um they really like the way you sound um it's almost like maybe a melodic voice it almost sounds like you're singing when you're speaking um very high tones low tones um very interesting and they love the way that you smell so yeah this person is big on senses they could be um you know a taurus or libra but i am sensing that they really are catered they, they their senses are what really pushes them over the edge here what is this? The 11th house, that is Aquarius energy. Um, so this place, right? Um, I see it's where, you know, it can be very collaborative for sure. Uh, people have to work together to create a product, right? Um, it can't just be done on one's own here. Um, or this is a place where people make agreements, okay? Um, where they settle on, you know, bonds, instead of make a deal here. Um, I am sensing that this conversation between you two is going to somehow get to the relationship between you guys, okay? So I don't know if you guys are skirting around the subject before. I don't know if you talked about it too much before, if you're not already in a relationship, but this is the, before you guys have sex because they're going to find you very attractive look other than just your lips they're going to be looking at the way you dress they're going to be looking at how your hair lays like they're just you're giving <laughs> physical peak here you're giving 10 out of 10 and so this is what's throwing them off because they're like it would make them want to just throw caution to the wind. So that's why they're going to just talk to you and be like, "Where? how do you feel about me? How do you feel about us being in a relationship? Um, what do you think? Because they would invest in you um, from looking at you, from listening to you. They're like, I, I think I choose them. Oh my gosh. And they're going to want to ask some questions before they do that. Hmm. I'm thinking... Let's go ahead and get to the spicy bits. <laughs> We're going to use the Amor es Psyche Oracle. Um, and I want to get another. Hold up. Yes. We're also going to get a card or two from the Caroline Miss Archetype cards. Because um, I want to get their energy and then what they're coming into this with. Using the... A more a psyche oracle. Like this is gonna be what they're feeling slash like what um they're planning. Alright, bet. That was easy. Thanks, spirit. Oh, we got Avenger. Light attributes. Desire to balance the scales of justice. Righteousness on behalf of society or one's self. Hmm. Unfinished business. We got unfinished. Hmm. 
you. This is you. Child wounded. Light attributes. If I can read this. Hello, what is this? Awakens compassion and desire to serve others. Wounded children. I mean, and desire to serve other wounded children. Opens the learning path of forgiveness. So you know what? With that message of unfinished business and then this child wounded card um yeah for sure someone could have been wounded here from before but i'm sensing like this could be like this is a second chance like this is this is your chance here um and this is it like after this if nothing happens then we're cutting it we gotta move on um we could still be in each other's lives and be as friends but i'm not going to like if i feel this is you it's like i'm not going to um Sorry, I had to pause and pass gas. But anyway, <laughs> um, I sense that it's like you're not going to um, just stick around and see what else could happen. It's like, no, either you are going to make a move or you don't. And we'll just call it call it splitsies, call it casual. Now, let's get the energy they're coming into this next sexual encounter with. And we're going to do the same for you, okay? This is... Wow. Okay, the cards are coming out really fast for them. Oh my goodness. All right, it's number 20. Love's Embrace. So look, they're coming... Honestly, I'm getting like... It's not... I don't sense maybe everyone here or everyone's person here is like... Oh, you know, I'm sorry. I messed up. Or like, yeah, I fucked up or whatever. Like, some is like that. But I honestly, on others, it's like... A reconciliation it's like i missed you it's like i needed this so much i miss you so bad um i wanted you to around me so bad i couldn't i couldn't think about anyone else but you i couldn't be interested in anyone else but you um there was no one else i can compare to you uh I, my mind couldn't help but go to you i was i've been intoxicated by you it's like you were their drug to them so they're coming into this almost like almost like it's good too good to be true in a sense it's like they're really watching their words they're trying to be soft here okay they're trying to be very careful um because they do not want to fuck it up with you they don't want to say anything do anything that will turn you off okay Let's see how you will be feeling. We have... <laughs> we have the warrior of love number 10. I love it. <laughs> because, like, this person, they're gonna be like, I gotta be careful because this is it with them. Um, And I gotta do my best here. And I see you're like, oh, let's go. <laughs> Um, guns ahoy, or ships a sail, or whatever like that saying is, but I'm saying you're like, just give me the go ahead. Let's make sure that we're on the right page, and boom, we in it, we in it, we in it. Okay, I kind of want to get one more card because I sense there's like this motive that they have underneath the surface here. Um, because I just see that they're really trying to, they're trying to. Like, when I'm saying playing it safe, right, I think, honestly, like, they're hiding some big, like, horny energies, dude. We have Soft Whispers, yeah, they're trying to be very careful. Um, with this Soft Whispers card, um, I'm sensing that, like, they're going to be telling you, revealing some secrets to you, things of how they felt, okay? Um, and you know what, this card being seven for Soft Whispers, I sense that you might have already known, and maybe you've already tried to give them a chance to fess up about their emotions, about their feelings, about their plans for the future, whatever, and I don't think they gave you um, the full picture before, so now they're trying to do that. Um, and I, they're trying to be careful to, to telling you this because they don't want it to be like, oh, I'm only saying this because you're giving me the chance to say it. They're doing this because this is what they truly feel. I love this. We have body positive. Um, number 27. OMG. 20 plus 7, 27, 27, 27. That is your angel number. Um, look it up when you got time. Anyway, <laughs> with body positive here, I'm not sure if you can see the card too well with this lighting. Um, they truly, truly think that your body is a work of art. I'm not gonna hold you. They just, I mean, however it's shaped, however unique you are, it is just. 
it it's a marvel at them that's why they have to be so careful because you are a work of art they don't want to smudge the piece <laughs> they don't want to break anything they got to be very careful um mm -hmm. we're gonna give them a card until it but so yeah that's the energy before this happens let's get to the nitty-gritty and I don't know if you caught, like, the full intro, but the thing is, like, I did kind of, like, avoid doing this co this uh, topic again because, my goodness, because I don't have enough, like, sexy oracle decks to give a, like, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't feel like I have enough, and it's always the same cards, and I like to change it up, so it's just, ah. anyway, you got uh, six, 11 gaze, 12, joy, and jubilation, let's get one more. Oh, and the self whispers is back. At the bottom, full intimacy. Okay. Will you give me just one moment? Because I need to channel some things here. It'll begin after you show them that you dance a clown. <laughs> it's only going to begin after you tell them out loud because they will not trust their own vision or their own thoughts because their need for you is overpowering their hunger takes over when it comes to you so they can't trust themselves when it comes to what the next steps are between you two so i see that they're going to try to hold back a lot almost during this whole entire sex okay um i see that you you need to tell them like I want you or I want to do this or tell them what sex will mean for you guys before anything will happen or else they'll just you know they won't do anything okay they're gonna they're like I said they're gonna play it really safe here so you gotta give them that go ahead let them know that you're cool with this that you're down with this that you want this that you want them okay after that I do see that they are going to Oof, they're going to try their best to be be gentle, all right? Um, their immediate their immediate desire is to just grab hold of you, pull you in, and use all of their strength here. They want to squeeze you with their arms. They want to feel how you feel in their arms. They want to um feel how you feel on in their teeth, okay? They're they're they have really high carnal desires here, but they don't want to scare you. They really want to scare you. They're trying to play it safe. Um, they they're trying to play they're trying to play it safe with the words they say. They 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 think they think that you're very beautiful and that you're gorgeous. But the real thing is, they think that you're so fucking sexy. They think that your legs are just major sex appeal they want to you they want you to wrap their legs around their face and just and <laughs> don't give them room to breathe you know but they don't know how how deep you feel for them they don't know how deep you want to go sexually so i see that it's only after you say or show them that you want to take your clothes off they're going to take your clothes off because like they're gonna they they are going to want to call the shots all for everything but since they can't trust themselves or that's how they feel, they got to wait for you. So if they see you, you know, starting to um, take their shirt off, they're going to stop. They're going to hold your hands and they're going to do it themselves. Or they're going to, like, keep your their eyes on you the whole time you try to take their shirt off. Or they keep their hands on yours. Um, they want... Because their instinct is to take over and to treat your body as their own personal um plaything here and the thing is though they don't objectify you they don't think that you're just like a hot body for them um they think that you are like oh my goodness um the epitome of uh 
perfect partner for them. So they just, they're really trying to be careful. Um, with this soft whispers here, I see that um, they're going to, it's like they're not, they want to command here. They want to command you, um, you know, put your hands behind your back and then they will ship your pen down, right? But it's they're, it's like they're going to ask you though. Their inner heart wants demand, but outside they're just going to ask. They're going to be like, can I do this? Would you do this? But this, is, this isn't this is what they truly feel. They truly just want to tell you to do it. Um, or they're just going to do it and you don't have any objections, okay? Let's get some more cards. It might have some of the same because I feel, I mean, it does similar energy because it's the same group, but still though. Soft whispers in reverse. Oh, I understand. Okay, let's get some more. Loves embrace now in reverse. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm what I understood. Just let me get a couple more of these. Dang, we're getting the same as cards, but in reverse. This I get it, spirit. I get it. Thank you. Something else. That's balance and unity. Um, and at the bottom of the deck we got doubt and indecision but it came out in reverse so um here's the team so this person they are going to ask in in some way it could be with words or just could be with um, a look or um it, they're going to always ask before they, they perform an action on you um i am seeing here with soft whispers um, they, honestly, some, they, like, are gonna play with the breath here. There's breath play. Um, maybe blowing in the ear, blowing in your mouth, blowing just, you know, across the skin, against uh, the nipple here. Um, I'm, all, I'm almost, almost, like, seeing a raspberry, you know, like, when you, um, do that. <laughs> You know, with your lips, like, on, on a hand or on a belly or whatever, this person, they might do that, like, yeah, on, um, your nipple and maybe, sure, like, on the nape of your neck, but honestly, like, I'm seeing they might do that. If you got a puss, they can probably do it on a puss. They say, <laughs> you ain't ever had this before. Um, and then I'm also seeing, like, on the back door, man, um, this person, they really like every single part of you. They want access. They want to taste every single part of you. And they're not going to, um, do, they're not really going to stop here. Um, even if, like, you're really, really crying out. Um, because that just, it brings out this sexual deviant within them um it's like the trophy um that that it's like you are the instrument and they're doing what they can on their mouth and then the sound comes out from your voice you know what i mean like you know how you know you play a trumpet right you have to breathe into the trumpet and then sound comes out the other end so it's like you become their instrument here um and with an instrument you're very you have to be very careful with it. you can't just bang around a trumpet it or else it will be dented so they're going to be very careful around their fingering here yeah they really want to feel how you feel from the inside okay with their fingers this person they might work, they might work with their hands a lot all right so they want to need um what to call it um <laughs> the, the box or the donut um you know the donut Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The back? Anyway, <laughs> the front, the back, my neck, my back. Anyway, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to stay focused over here. Anyway. But, yeah, they they want to play you like a fiddle. <laughs> they want to make you sing out here. Like, they... It's yeah, something with, like, kneading the muscles. Hmm... We have to get a few more cards from Ulysses' messages. Because that's when I get some like, messages of what they would say to you or how they truly feel sexually, you know? Um, and that's going to be it, for real. I'm going to move this out the way.
Okay, uh, I'm hearing when we do our thing, sing my name the way you do. Uh, girl, you make me say, ooh. Uh, I think it's Chris Brown. Y'all, yeah, I'm wrong. It's Neo. Oh, and I just saw 2222. <laughs> um, this could be Soulmate or Twin Flame Connection. But yeah, it's called Sexy Love by Neo. Look it up because that song's for you. Um, we also just got Beautiful Liar. Beautiful Liar by Beyonce featuring Shakira. He said, I'm worth it. His one desire. I know things about him that you wouldn't want to read about. Sorry, trying to wait for that background noise to clear out. Anyway, um, he said, I'm worth it. His one desire. I know things about him that you wouldn't want to read about. He kissed me. His one and only. Yes, beautiful liar. Tell me how you tolerate the things you just found out about. You'll never know. Why are we the ones who suffer? I have to let go. He won't be the one to cry. Oh, someone's like, break up with your girlfriend. Because <laughs> I'm bored. <laughs> We have Alejandro by Lady Gaga. I know that we are young and I know that you may love me, but I just can't be with you like this anymore. Ooh, confirmation. Alejandro. She's got both hands in her pocket and she won't look at you, won't look at you. She hides true love in su bolsillo. She got a halo around her finger around you. Um, could be angel connection out here. And so basically means in your pocket. We have The Way That I Love You by Ashanti. It says, late at night when all the world is sleeping, I stay up and think of you. And I wish on a star that somewhere you are thinking of me too. Okay, I love this song. Cause I'm dreaming of you tonight till tomorrow. I'll be holding you tight and there's nowhere in the world I'd rather be than here in my room dreaming about you and me. Oh my God, I love that song. Oh my God, I haven't heard that in years. I thought it was uh, Selena. <laughs> Real talk. I'm glad to know that song came out. But yeah, I think this is a connection where y'all dreamed about each other for sure. And I am sensing also like 5D sex. Um, let's get our last one. It is My Boo by Usher. Um, it says this. Okay, now that we're quiet again. It says, there's always that one person that will always have your heart. You never see it come in because you're blinded from the start. Know that you're that one for me. It's clear for everyone to see. Oh, baby. You gotta rock away to this one. You will always be my boo. See, I don't know about y'all, but I know about us. And uh, it's the only way we know how to rock. I don't know about y'all, but I know about us. And uh, it's the only way we know how to rock. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna let these resonate for you personally. Alrighty, y'all, it is time. My favorite part is time to say thank you. So thank you so much for joining me in the reading. Um, I know this one wasn't too, too spicy, but I have to get some more cards. Yeah, I gotta also listen to spirits, so here we are. <laughs> anyway, to get the collective message, we're gonna be using the Monology Oracle cards and 101 Bubble Promises as the huge. Um, and I guess I should mention, um, I still do offer personal readings, and this time though, I mean, I don't know if it's bad business, look, y'all, I don't charge. I mean, because <laughs> I'm just, I'm the messenger. That's what I'm here for. It's what I'm here to do. So, like, if you want a message, um, a reading, just uh, contact me via Instagram, my angel channel, or um, you could uh, email me. I had, um, well, I just changed the email. I think my witch angel is still open, but. I think it's my an it's uh, angel channel mail at gmail.com. So either one of those and um, yeah, just let me know what you want to read about and then I'll record the reading and send you the private link, yeah? Um anyway, yeah, let's get this collective message. It is a time to give rather than take with the new moon in Virgo. 
Um, but yes, if you have uh, subscribed um, recently or semi-recently or just ever, can I say thank you and welcome! Welcome to the one and only <laughs> Angel Army. Um, um, you are a warrior now, fam. Welcome. You in it. What we fight for? Oh, you already know. We fight for love. We fight for justice, compassion, healing the world. It's, it's a tough job, <laughs> not gonna lie. But, um, we can do it together. I believe that. So, um, here we got. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalms 73, 26. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being with me in this reading. Um, and I hope to see you in another one, alright? Bye-bye! Hello and welcome to the vibe check section for group two. If you felt drawn to this group, let's make sure it's the right one. Now, if you have it, please grab a drink or a snack. Cheers to your messages. Okay, mm, I love water. Y'all, real talk. Okay, so pulling like these, I automatically got this sense of like fun and energetic and like really happy and excited um it's a very exciting um time i guess for you you might be very excited about something coming soon um it could be uh travel to another country a little vacation um and it's like finally or wow i can't believe this is happening um also with this uh what's it called opalite stone i am sensing this uh type of like mental clarity it seems like um you might have had some downloads before um via uh repeating numbers or certain signs that you might have asked spirit for um messages i don't know i just see that you there was effort placed on certain like manifestations um candle magic um i'm seeing prayers made here a voice um sounded out for what you really were desiring for your life what you wanted to come through what you knew was meant for you and now it is happening you know this feels like it's very exciting because we're seeing um what we were um channeling before okay um i'm sensing like with this uh, skull bracelet that you do have um a strong spiritual team okay i see See that since you are one to open up your energy your spirit your life your soul to the entire world to the universe okay it, it's going to take more than just you um to stay safe here and so i see that your spirit team like your your guardian angels some of your ancestors um they are constantly keeping watch for you um watching over you making sure you're staying safe here okay um yeah you might sense like like uh like there are times when you're told like not to do something or go the opposite way or you would just like get these six senses that it doesn't really come from your own intuition but it's like from an extrinsic force and it's like okay what is that is that my family or is it my angels and the answer is yes um they're trying to you know steer you in, in a different way or um just keep you safe because they can see like an outcome you know what i mean um i'm also sensing like with this opalite stone that you are I'm accessing, um, you know, wider dimensions here. Um, I see that you're starting to think and operate outside of just your own self, outside of um, another person in your vicinity. I see that you're looking at um, your life, your life uh, process, and like how it's connected to other people and to their entire world over like a big, for a long time. Um, I see that, and this is, you know, fourth, fifth dimensional thinking. So you can kind of um, measure the uh impactful events for your life and the in life of others and see how um what could be coming you know for the future it's like making predictions that way and so you're able to like maybe like if you wanted to um manipulate current situations um uh, uh advise people around you to do certain different things so that, you, that so that an outcome that you could deem most beneficial comes true all right um i'm seeing that yeah, we might be, like, learning new skills here, okay? Like, this is an entirely new place. It's a new territory. Um, you know, uh, it's, like, new language, right? New study. And it affects you, though. It affects your life. But it's so new. Let's go ahead and close out our vibe check here. If all I got just now has not been you, then now's the time to choose another group or another video. But if what I got just now has been you, then let's get right into your reading. Okie dokie group two, let's begin. We're going to start off by using the karma cards. Um, here's the box. 
Um, and then we're gonna use these cards to get the situation um, right leading up to this sexy time. All right, um, it's gonna be um, about the um, the place that like this is, um, what's going on between you two. It's a little bit before um, you guys have sex. All right, we have Sagittarius here. Oh my goodness, you know this could be during. Um, Sagittarius season. We have the eleventh house here. Okay, from group one, how you doing? Whoa, just dropped the card. Hello. We have Capricorn here. So this could be actually a window from Sagittarius to Capricorn season, which isn't not that long, honestly. Like, I feel it's like November to January? Yeah, November to January, this could be that timing. Or actually, shoot, 11th house is Aquarius energy. So it could be from November to February, um, timing wise. But I wanna get one more card to get more of the situation. Move like that. So I'll get one more. Whoa, hello. This that's Libra. All these other cards I'm gonna just put to the side. Okay, um so this place, um, I am sensing it's actually pretty nice, so it might be very classy, but it could be a very, um, high-end place, <laughs> um, because, you know, with Capricorn, that's, um, I'm sensing just luxury here, and with Sagittarius, is very exploitative. Um, this could be, um, yeah, like, um, whilst you're on vacation, or just, um, you know, when you're in another country, or they could be visiting you from another place, but regardless, I have, I am sensing, um, distance closed here. So either one or both of you are, um, new to this environment. Um, I am also sensing with this Libra energy that you guys are kind of airing out, um, the truth here, uh, airing out the past, discussing, like, a previous problem we might have had or some type of just... Um, yeah, and I see that, like, this is, I mean, it could have been after a day of fun, honestly, um, of just exploring, of telling jokes, like, I see that, um, you guys actually might have, um, a deep history, or have had, um, some history before, you might have known each other for a long time, um, so I think, I, I'm just sensing that we're reminiscing, we're reminiscing about the past, um, just telling jokes about, you know, just growing up together or whatever, just how how the other has changed. Um, yeah, you might have, you might be linking up with this person after a very long time, actually. Um, oh wow, I'm sorry, just like dang, after all this time, the drive is still strong. Um, yeah, and I'm sensing also that you both of you look on like the surface you're gonna be really friendly, really talkative, it's gonna be cool, or just shooting the shit, but underneath the surface for both of you oh baby girl baby boy this is <laughs> just on fire like i am sensing the groin ablaze here <laughs> i am sensing that both of you are trying your best to even like not just watch your words to say like whatever it could be misconstrued as sexy it, it would just be game over the other person would know they're like oh this person wants to fuck me <laughs> And then, and then you lose it all. Like, there's no going back from there. So I just see that um, both of you are just trying to keep it nice. Maybe keep it platonic. Um, you don't want to mess anything up here because underneath the surface. <laughs> um, I'm kind of just seeing, like, how should we continue? Let's get more of these cards to get the situation itself. And then I'm going to get a couple cards from the Caroline Miss archetype cards um to represent you and uh the person just to get like you know what's on their mind um for this next sexual encounter oh, they're showing up here 
like the drive of the Y. For them, we have Vampire. Light attribute makes you aware that someone or something is draining our life force. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think this is on you. I think you are making it aware to them um, that something is draining them because you are like the breath of fresh air. And I'm not saying this trying to like be like, oh my god, no, this vampire's not about you. Like if it was about you, I would tell you. <laughs> I'm that type of reader. If you're the drama, I will let you know. But um, no, I am sensing though, like this person, they might just be Either they could be with a current card make partner or like they're living in a place that you don't really want to live anymore. They're in a job they don't want. And like, I don't know, just somehow like this discussion with you, hanging out with you, it's it's giving them um, uh, an entirely different perspective of what could make them happy. And I think um, they're considering like a life with you. So they got to make sure that you would want the same thing. I do want to pull another card. I don't know if it's going to be for them or for you, though. Let's see. I am sensing witch. I don't have, there isn't a witch, is there a witch card? No, I don't think so. I don't think there's a witch card in here, but I'm sensing that, um, either, hmm, I think it's you. I think they know you as a very magical person, very magical being. Um, and with this witch message, I'm sensing that, like, you might have very magical hands or you imbue different items with magical properties, spiritual properties. Um, you might be a very strong manifester. I don't know. I'm just seeing that they sense you as magic, and I think that knowing you would be a good idea, okay, at the very least. Let's get another card, though. We have Child Divine. I feel like this is kind of their energy more so. Um, light attribute, it says innocence, purity, and redemption. Suggest a special connection with the divine. Yeah, you bring this out within them. I don't know what situation there is they're in right now, but so you bring out this, you know, child divine energy. Okay, let's get your side and then we can continue move these out the way really fast. This is, can I just do like, wait, hello? Okay, it's two different tarot decks, I mean oracle decks. Let's see. You got visionary, yeah, you are just magical. Okay, light attribute, it says, capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. Willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. Yeah, very giving person. Very high divine energy. Okay. And since we got two for them, let's get two for you. Let's keep this balanced. We have Seeker. Light attribute. Thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. Um, this person knows that they can't hide their inner desires and emotions from you, um, because you just are so magical and your insight is top tier, babes. I love it. Um, so they know that they can't, um, like really lie to you. They know that they gotta come clean or else you're gonna call them out or at least be like, um, is that really all you're thinking? Because I don't think so. <laughs> um... Inability to commit to a path once found. Yeah, you know, on their end, they do sense that you maybe are a bit wishy-washy or, like, um, things are a little bit up in the air. Like, I don't know if you just don't have a plan or maybe you just haven't told them your plan. So they don't really know how to um, solidify a relationship with you until you guys have a plan, um, uh, an agreed upon view for the future. Because this person, they're not going to invest a lot of emotions and desire for you unless they know that, um, a relationship between you guys would be feasible in the future. So, let's get to uh, the sex itself using the Amorta of Psyche. And I don't know if I already told y'all, but like, I was avoiding this reading because I don't have a lot of sexy oracle. I just have one. Anyway, you got 21, Balance and Unity. Number 10, The Warrior of Love. The Lady Who Waits, number one. And The Sweetest Taboo with number 13. Um... 
okay i'm not gonna hold you like uh i don't know about you so much at this point but for, but for right now this person um it seems that they're kind of just gonna give into um their passions here like i'm seeing they're just gonna be like man forget it <laughs> they're just gonna like go in for the kiss here like i'm sensing that where you guys are um it could just for real be like you they might um interrupt themselves in the middle of their own sentence just to kiss you like you know what i'm saying um this person i think they're sick of playing a game here like i'm sensing that you guys have been playing the game um playing the nice game playing the friend game playing the oh we're just cool game i don't know or just maybe even friendly flirting oh we're not really into each other we're just into each other <laughs> and so i'm sensing they're like I don't know about you, but for there, I'm there, and for sure, they're like, no, forget that, bunk that, um, no more games, let's just be real about how we feel, and they're gonna show you how they feel, um, this person, they, I think they've gotten um, to a pretty good point about talking, or how to talk about their feelings, um, and come across, um, mm, stable when it comes to showing how they really feel about things or another person um so they have gained enough confidence to channel their emotions through their efforts here and i'm sensing with this way this taboo we are breaking some rules excuse me so i don't know if you guys have discussed sex before or discussed being in a relationship but regardless of this person they're gonna just dive in all right um they're just gonna really this honestly this big this i don't know if it's gonna be your guys's first kiss but this first kiss um starting this all off is going to mark whether or not this happens now i am sensing this is going to happen because or else it wouldn't have a reading but um i i do want to point out that not for everyone here it may it just may not happen if it does then we're gonna get what happens but if it doesn't well there you go so anyway um they're going to be drinking you in here with this first kiss it's like i'm sensing like if you know, just you guys are together, right? They're going to, like, wrap their arm around you and pull you into their kiss. They're going to be drinking you in, all right? Because they're going to be, like, sensing physically how much you want them with the kiss as well as um, sensing spiritually how much you want them, all right, for the future. Um, because with this balance and unity, like, they're really not going to put in effort or energy here unless they know for sure they're going to get the same thing in return. Um, this person, they're not out here uh, worried or rushing to be in a relationship. So you might actually discuss that. Um, but they would like to know that you place your heart on a um, high pedestal, that you place your emotions in a very special place because they want someone who respects themselves enough like that because that's how they want to treat the other person. So they want to make sure that the person wants to be treated that way. You know what I mean? Um, with the warrior of love, ooh, I'm sensing like when you guys are talking, um, and you know, if you do flirt, <clears throat> like a little touch on the shoulder here, or just maybe some jokes um, about how cute they are, or just a little regular flirting, um, it turns them on. They're gonna hide it. Um, like if they're a dude here, and like you, and you're um, flirting with them, they're gonna get hard. I'm not gonna hurt you. They are um, from your flirting because they really, really want you. Um, then they want to want you, and they, and you flirting with them is like they're, oh god, this is gonna happen, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really hard, or if they're like, um, you know, if they have a box here, it's like, they're gonna get real, oop, yep, they're gonna get real, real wet, I'm telling you, um, with what, um, with how you flirt with them, it, it's, they feel very special when you give them attention. I think you might just be very, very attractive. I think a lot of people find you attractive, and you might have been single for a long time, so I think it's like on there, and they know that you're not just going to be with anybody, so for them to have this chance with you, it's like they're chosen, you know, and they feel so blessed to be chosen. Let's get some more info, but let me get these cards out of the way. There. Okay. Oh, the sex itself. Oh, 
We have Soft Whispers here, number seven. We have Doubt and Indecision, number nine. We're getting prime numbers. No, we have an evil one. Standing Alone, number 24. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you know what I was getting, like, with this, um, our prime numbers? You know, things that can, are indivisible. You know, are only, what, indivisible by one or something? You know the rule. But anyway, um, this person, they are wanting commitment to be, they don't want the sex to be the proof of commitment between you two. Um, they want... If it, so let's say they are pinning your arms down and their body's on top of yours. They're going to look in your eyes and they're going to ask, do you want me? Do you want this? And if you say yes, they're going to put all of their energy into you, onto you, for you and your body. Like they want you to feel the extent of their energy across the entire body here because they don't want you to have any doubt or indecision about their feelings for you, okay? Because maybe they didn't discuss a lot of their emotions with you in the past for you. So with like, they just want you to know for sure that they choose no one else. With this soft whispers here, um, I am sensing um, that they have a little bit of um, jealousy, a little bit of possession thing. Um, you, you know, big on control here. They want to... Um, it's like... You know what's weird? It's like if you try to be dominant or like take care of the situation, they might even like <laughs> laugh at you a bit. I mean, like, you don't call the shots here. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I'm doing this. Um, and I am sensing with the soft whispers, they're like, um, they want you to dedicate your body to them. They want you to promise your body to them. They want you to tell them that you belong to them, okay? Um, they, I am sensing this. And it's, but the thing is, it's only after you guys have connected sexually, you know, like after they're in you or you're like, you're in them, that's when they want you to be like, I'm yours, you know? Uh, with this standing alone here, like after they've been sexing you up, they're going to pull back, pull out or <laughs> whatever. And then they're going to tell you to, like, masturbate, you know? Um, it's going to break up your guys' sex. It's going to be, like, sex, masturbate, sex, masturbate. Because they really want to watch you. They really like to see how you pleasure yourself. They want to see you in ecstasy. Because the thing is, when they're sexing you, they're going to be too focused on trying not to come too fast. <laughs> so they might not really fully enjoy seeing you and looking at you because they're trying to, they're just really focusing on like do not end this i don't want to end this yet let's keep this going um and they're going to be focusing on like your body and like how your body is shaped okay like um the position you're in just, they want to marvel at the position that they have you in okay um i'm sensing that they want the neighbors to hear you guys they want you they want them to hear the rhythm that they placed it's like yes this is our music listen to our music here mm -hmm. We're about ended off. Let's go ahead and get a few messages from the Ulysses Messages Oracle deck. Um, just to see like what they would say to you. I mean the general vibe for the sex between you guys. Well, okay. We have No Scrubs by TLC. A scrub is a guy that thinks he's fly and is also known as a buster. Always talking about what he wants and just sits on his broke ass. So, no, I don't want your number. No, I don't want to give you mine. And no, I don't want to meet you nowhere. No, I don't want none of your time. Um, ooh, so someone has to say no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I, oh, and I got that message. I don't know what's going to happen for everybody out here. Because they could be a scrub. Anyway, we have Lovers and Friends by Lil Jon and the East Side Boys featuring Usher and Ludacris. <laughs> everybody. Anyway. Sometime want to be your lover. Sometime want to be your friend. 
Sometime when I hug you, hold hands, slow dance while the record spins. Opened up your heart, cause you said I made you feel so comfortable. Used to play back then, now you all grown up like Rudy Huxtable. I could be your bud, you could beat me up. Play fight in the dark, and then we both make up. I do anything just to feel your butt. Why you got me so messed up? I don't know, but I don't know, but you gotta stop tripping. Oh my gosh, man! <laughs> Honestly, confirmation to like with what we've been getting. Okay, but now I feel like this could be like a friends to lovers connection for sure. Um, but anyway, we have Walking Trophy by Hood Celebrity. I can take you to LA. We go shopping for the day. I'm spending it all on you, girl. Spending it all on you anyway. Dance hall vibes, close to all of the night. My crib close by. We gon' we go we could like. Hood girl, tell me it's a go for tonight. Baby girl, you got the glow and the lights. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then now we have like two cards about dancing, so for sure. It's gonna be like after y'all have went out dancing or they really want to go dancing with you they like the way your body moves let's get one more card we have drunk in love by beyonce we woke up in the kitchen saying how the hell did this shit happen oh baby drunk in love we be all night last thing i remember is our beautiful bodies grinding up in that club drunk in love bro okay that's, that's, that's the third thing about dancing they really want to go dancing with you and so like this feels like yeah i don't know it's like an unplanned thing like we weren't really planning to have sex but if we did golly it's like all the energy was released here all the sexual passion was unleashed on the other person my god drunk in love all right, I'm gonna let these resonate for you personally, and we'll end off the reading here. Alrighty, y'all, it is time. My favorite part is time to say thank you. So thank you so much for joining me in a reading. Um, I know this one wasn't too too spicy, but I have to get some more cards. Yeah, I gotta also listen to spirits. So here we are. <laughs> anyway, to get the collective message, we're gonna be using the Monology Oracle cards and. 101 Bible Promises as the huge. Um, I think as I should mention, um, I still do offer personal readings, and this time though, I mean, I don't know if it's bad business, look, y'all, I don't charge. I mean, because <laughs> I'm just, I'm the messenger. That's what I'm here for. It's what I'm here to do. So, like, if you want a message, um, a reading, just uh, contact me via Instagram, my angel channel, or um, you could. Uh, email me at um well I just changed the email I think my witch angel is still open but I think it's my an it's uh, angel channel mail at gmail.com so either one of those and um yeah just let me know what you want to read about and then I'll record the reading and send you the private link yeah um but anyway yeah let's get this collective mess it is a time to give rather than take with the new moon in Virgo. Um, but yes, if you have uh, subscribed um, recently or semi-recently or just ever, can I say thank you and welcome! Welcome to the one and only <laughs> Angel Army. Um, you are a warrior now, fam. Welcome. You in it. What we fight for? Oh, you already know. We fight for love. We fight for justice, compassion, healing the world. It's, it's a tough job, not gonna lie, but um, we can do it together, I believe that. So, um, here we got. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalms 73, 26. Um, so thank you so much for joining me, thank you so much for being with me in this reading, um, and I hope to see you in another one, alright? Bye-bye! Hello, and welcome to the vibe check section for group three. If you felt drawn to this group, let's make sure it's the right one. Grab your drink or snack if you got it. Cheers to your reading. Um, 
let's get started. So immediately, I think some here are definitely connected to group two. So if you're already feeling drawn to both groups, then yes, these are connected. Um, and I'd say one because both got the travel message. I mean, they got the Eiffel Tower and then you have this passport charm. So I am saying uh, travel <laughs> in your future. <laughs> so um, I am wishing you the best. Um, I'm seeing it's a vacation. Um, I see that we're um, oof, really... Wait, sorry, it's not just excited, it's like getting amped up, getting geared up. It's like, oh yeah, um, expecting big things here. Um, it's getting excited, it's like, well, this is gonna be, in excuse me, this is gonna be, um, very impactful for your life. I see like a long lasting, um, outcome or a long lasting change due to this, um, displacement, okay? Like, even if you're not traveling, like, across country or whatever, I do see you just displaced in somewhere that you haven't been before or, like, are you just very new? Um, might, might be newcomer or very young in this place. Um, and so I see that you're going to kind of, um, need to, like, take it all in, you know, take a moment to just take it all in, um, and give yourself time to breathe and just listen. Um, I see that you could just very well be deeply connected to the element of the earth, okay? I see that you might find yourself um, feel balanced and calm when you have your fingers or toes um, immersed deep within soil or when you are planting things and you are... Um, like studying rocks or collecting rocks. I just see that when you um, are in tune with the very earth around you, you are um, grounding yourself, you're recharging. Um, this is so very good. I see that some here um, are gifted with communing with nature spirits, okay? This is the spirit of trees, the spirit of the flowers, of the soil. I see it. Um, and it's like, and I say, and I used the word commune on purpose because it isn't just speaking. I see that um, you work with um, the earth around you, um, like you try to listen to see what is needed and give what you can, um, and then, and then listen to instruction here. It's gaining the wisdom of the trees here, very ancient knowledge. Yeah, some here might be, uh, have this gift of a clairsentience where you can feel the grooves or the divots and rocks or wood um, or stones and then you would know the history of it, uh, as well as objects as well, okay? Um, you can feel something and um, understand its importance where it's history. But let's go ahead and close out our vibe check here. If all I got just now has not been you, then now's the time to choose another group or another video. But if what I got just now has been you, then let's get right into your reading. All right, group three, we're going to begin with the karma cards. We're gonna use these just to get like a little inside of the situation um, right before you guys have sex. And then um, we'll make a little bit of this like for timing as well. So let's see fourth house Ooh, and gemini okay um so it could be during gemini season also fourth house is cancer so that is gemini to cancer um and that's june to july basically right or like may to july doesn't cancer season also bleed into august so may to august that's gonna be the timing um but also this could be signs as well you might be a gemini that could be gemini or cancer anyway let's get a couple more cards Perhaps lemons could be important here um, at this time. Like, you got it's gonna have lemon water or like lemon zest fruit or something. Lemon cake, lemon, or something. It could be like wearing lemon or yellow, you know? You got the moon here, and that's Cancer Pisces energy. So it could be during Pisces season, which is what? Uh, March, March and April. And then we have 8th house, and that is Scorpio energy. It's going to be doing Scorpio season, which is October and November. Um, at the bottom is Jupiter, and that's more Pisces energy. 
Oh, so Sagittarius energy. So anyway, <laughs> um, those signs can be significant or those timings. So let's go ahead and get to this situation. Um, I am sensing with this moon out here. I mean, come on, it's going to be at nighttime. Um, I'm sensing it's going to be very dark, um, very low lighting. Um, I am sensing also that this could be a place where um, people just kind of divulge secrets or um, inner emotions. This could be like, uh, I'm also saying it could be like a, a co comedy club. It could be um, an open mic night. It could be, um, uh, what's it called? The uh, karaoke. Um, I just sense like people are, like, it seems personal. Um, but not like we're putting on a show here, you know, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, it's like open stage, everyone just, you know, come up and, you know, say your piece. This could be during like a meeting, um, or it could be like after a meeting, uh, or, uh, or a council meeting. Something for a community as well. Um, it could be like after a community event here. Um, you could have met at a community event also. You might have like just lived in the same community and then, um linked up from there um this person i feel like they remind you of home or they just remind you just they just they just feel familiar you know um this could be at someone's childhood home someone's childhood place they could have been talking about your childhood for sure okay because i'm sensing um we have a past here but like significant past like younger um the conversation you guys have, I am sensing that they're going to be talking about emotions. They're going to be talking about, um, it's on, honestly like secrets that, you know, we could have kept from each other or kept from, uh, a circle that you both share. And it's, I feel like one, either you or the other person got these six sense vibes, like these intuitive downloads about the other person. And now we're finally, excuse me, calling them out on it. I'm like, yeah, I'm always getting this vibe from you. I was sensing that you were into me or that um, we, you wanted to kiss me at this point or um, you wanted to hold hands, but you did and you held back. Or um, I noticed like you did this when I touched you. Like there's just, I sense that someone here felt something with their intuition and then now we're talking about it. Um, with this eighth house, um, yeah, major change. I'm sensing that you guys, like this is going to change your entire relationship. Um, like, nothing's gonna be the same after this, and so I think you guys are gonna be discussing, too, like, what you, what your relationship would like, would look like, um, in the future, like, if you did have sex, if you did commit to each other, or, um, if you come to an agreement on something... <sighs> that affects like your lifestyle for the both of you like if, if you're already in a relationship you know um i am sensing here somewhere i don't know where this is but it's like someone has to like ask permission or ask uh what's it the blessing blessing from someone else to be in this relationship it could be very traditional old school here but i want to sense more of like the environment slash situation right before you guys have your next sexual encounter. No, 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 hold up. It was Venus slash Taurus. And, you know, Venus does roll over Taurus, but anyway. Pluto here, a Scorpio energy. Oh, okay. Libra. Leo, okay, yeah, I got it. So, um, I sense, like, this person, they're going to do something a little bit out of the ordinary here. Like, they're going to, like, let you know that, uh, you're not allowed to flirt with anyone else. Um, and it's going to be, mm, not, like, a surprise, but... Maybe just kind of, I don't know where, like, let's say you guys are talking, and, you know, and, and then randomly they're just going to, like, just grab your hand, and they might not even say anything. They're just going to just keep on going, like, you know, and they're just going to keep listening if you're talking or whatever, and, and but <laughs> I think in your mind, you're like, oh my god, they're freaking holding my hand right now, oh! 
Um, and then I'm also thinking like, this person may just might just come up and just put their arm around you and like squeeze and like let you know that like, this isn't just a friend thing. Like I'm doing this because I like you. Um, or this person might surprise you and like just kiss you on the cheek and um, they might try to play it off like, oh, you know, it's because I just we're just playing. But no, they really wanted to kiss you. Um, I just since like. However, this bow is like, they're going to do something physically, like, on your body that's going to give you a sign of, like, I want you, and I want to be with you. Because I am sensing, like, more of a long-lasting energy here. We're, if we're going to mix this Leo-Pluto energy, I'm getting this person, they really like to be, um, the boss here. They want to tell you to, alright, close your eyes. Alright, and then... No, put your hands here. And then just breathe. And they're going to, like, run their hand, like, up from your navel across the sternum to your throat here. And they're going to, uh, like, caress your body the way they had in their dreams. Okay? Um, since they fantasized about this a long time. And now they're able to make their dreams come true. And, and you just have to just listen to them just do what they say yeah power struggle um they don't want to they don't want to fight they just want you to cooperate you know um yeah deep scorpio energy you might find this person they might have um a kink they're gonna try out on you even if it's like the first time you guys are being intimate um and it could be a little soft one you know it could just be a little bondage here and there or maybe a little blindfold all right but um there is that they, they want to take away one of your senses so they can have the upper hand all right let's get some detail with the amored psyche oracle um there's that book Ooh, i wonder if we, we might use the book i don't think i ever have <laughs> for this deck you might see oh hello no 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 no. we're gonna get a couple oh yeah and i also want to get from the caroline miss archetype cards I want to get like a card or two representing them and you. So I'm put that to the side. We have lover. Fuck. Oh my god, this is deep. This is deep for them. All right, this person they they love fast. They love hard. Um, and they're very sensitive, so they're gonna be very careful about this encounter with you because sex is more than sex with them. For for you guys, it's going to be like, sex is the dedication to each other. Like, sex is marriage for them. We have lover, light attributes, great passion and devotion, unbridled appreciation of someone or something. Beautiful. Very beautiful. They might be just very beautiful. You might find them very beautiful. Very nice hair. Um, nice face to just caress. You might want to caress their face a lot. You might like their eyes too. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's get one more. Hello. Did it flip? I don't think it did. Anyway. Um, let's get one more. We'll see if it's gonna be for them or for you. Vampire light attribute makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force. I feel like that's them. I'm gonna move these cards to the side. Oh. Yeah, this is no, this is them. This could be you. Yeah, sorry. For the. Ooh, and then at the bottom, we have Virgin. Um, light attribute maintaining symbolic purity of heart and spirit. Yeah, I know someone could be swiping that V card out here. First time. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. Now let's get a couple of cards for on their end, the lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all yeah, wanna get into the sexual energy. We have taking the plunge here. So this person, I don't know if they asked all of your emotions, but they're going to kind of just cut cause to the wind, grab you close, and have their way with you. Like <laughs> they, um, they. I don't know if you agree with it or not, but like they see you as theirs you are their property so they can do whatever they want with you um and the thing is though it's not like they're trying to just you know be the boss or whatever it's just like they they know their their intention is to make you feel ecstasy so they don't it's okay if you say no like of course they want you to tell them if 
you know, uncomfortable with something or something hurts, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, they're just gonna they're they're following their intuition, and they're like, I know this person's gonna like it if they tip their head just a bit, and then plant kisses, um, from their shoulder up to, um, you know, their jawline here, and then trace the lips here. They really like your lips. Um. I like your mouth, yeah. Um, because I'm just seeing they're not really going, they're just going to be following their intuition. They're just going to be following their instincts here. Taking a plunge. They don't, so I don't know if they're going to really know exactly what they're doing or really plan this out, but they're just going to feel the vibe, go with the flow. We have, oh, yep, jealousy and possessiveness. I feel like this could be maybe more of your end. Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me. I hope you did not hear that. <laughs> Confirmation. And anyway, at the bottom we have seeking pleasure. Number 14. I believe this is both of you. Um, so yeah, if this is the first time for um either one of you, I do sense that you guys are gonna be like just feeling it out, like not making it such a big deal of, oh, I don't know what if this feels good or if I'm or do I put my hand here or whatever. No. Like you're just going to go with the flow. Um you put that there. Um, I am sensing that this person, like, are uh, you, I think you, um, uh, you're gonna kind of surprise yourself in how much you let them know that, uh, that you need them, okay, that you need them in your life, that, Oh, okay, anyway, let's get more to the sexy part. Sorry, because I got deep for a minute. <laughs> um, but listen, I think it's because their, their sex, you know, whatever they got, it's almost like a, a, a drug to you, dude. Like, I think you're going to get, like, a taste of flavor. If you haven't already, you'd be like, oh my god, this is what I want. They're what I want. And I feel like um when you have them in your mouth because i don't know i think they really want oil from you but like when you have them in your mouth and they just moan in pleasure that's going to just drive you nuts like it's going to awaken this type of sexual beast lurking in the loins here and i just see that it's going to be hard for you to hold that back okay um because it seems like this person um they i think you're gonna just be intoxicated with this smell okay i think you're gonna really like the way they smell and it's like the way they feel on your lips i don't know if you just have sensory like sensitive lips but um, I think, like, they want you to run your lips along their sexual pieces here, okay? Um, in the middle, on the sides, like, I sense that they want you to caress, like, um, all on their body. Like, you see how this person is just, you know, from head to toe covered, like, they got all types of people, <laughs> um, accommodating them, and I just sense, like, they want you to touch them, like, everywhere. They really want your hands on them. Let's go a little bit deeper. Just a tiny, tiny bit deeper. Let me move these cards up the way. We have physical attraction. Okay, so like between the both of you, your body is automatically awake in the other senses. I sense it's almost like even biology, biology here. Um, like the pheromones that the other gives off plays on the other senses <laughs> like it's nobody's business. Um, I sense it's almost like you guys aren't able to really control the attraction you have for each other. So this first time it might start off really soft, but kind of get um, <laughs> um, animalistic. All right, like I'm just seeing um, 
someone even growl for sure biting like i'm seeing marks being left here doubt and indecision um i'm sensing that yeah it's gonna start off off like oh should you be careful but no it's gonna get very very rough okay um i'm sensing that you know how i see this whole his whole body is red um for sure, there are going to be marks left on the body for both of you. I'm sensing maybe a tiny, tiny bit of bruising here and there. I don't know how y'all... Ooh, maybe someone fell over a table. I, look. <laughs> um, y'all are exploitative out here. Okay, so I'm sensing that um, they are going to leave marks, okay? This is more than just sex. This is claiming. All right, they're claiming your body. And they want you to claim them. Let's get one more. We have soft whispers. This card is kept coming out. And if you're from group one or two, how you doing? And then at the bottom is um, taking the plunge again. Oh. So yeah, no, with these, hold up. 1616 is your angel number, 1616, because my plus seven is 16. Um, anyway, hold up. This is very soft and slow, very sensual, okay? The start is, the start is, because I'm sensing that both of you guys are just trying to do your best to do the quote-unquote right thing here, but the, but the more you guys touch each other, the more it unlocks, like, this inner um, passion that you guys have. I do want to read what the book says for physical attraction. Um, just to see what it says. Okay. So when it comes to making love, pursuing physical pleasure, making love and the connection, it's to find each other's bliss. Yeah. I sense it's like, it's, it, yes, you're so attractive, but it's also exploration to see, all right, if I do, if I, you know, stroke them like this, do they really like it? Does it make them moan? All right. If, um, I tongue them here, um, does it make them twitch, it, you know, with, with pleasure? Like, I just see it's, it's a balance of, I want to experience all of you, but also I want you to feel pleasure. Um, now we have, call it a spiritual quest or perhaps something else. Either way, make sure whatever you do makes you feel good. Being love, visualize your deepest desire and the physical and bodily sensations that come along with that. Okay, so yeah, um, I'm sensing that this person, they want you, like at the end of the day, just say what you would want them to do or just change or change position. Just say it and then um, they're right there with you. Um, with that, taking the plunge, number 11, it's 11-11. I'm saying they're going to match whatever you want here. Just say it. And like your wish is their command, honestly. Their wish. I see your command too. Ooh, matching. I love it. Okay. Let's go ahead and close out this reading with uh some songs from Elisa's Messages Oracle. And that's gonna be it, y'all. Sorry. Oh my goodness. I keep on falling. <laughs> In love with you. Alicia Keys. Um, I don't know if they're not already in love with you, but yeah, this is going to have them falling in love with you. Did another one flip? No. Uh, we have Time After Time by Cindy Lauper. Okay, so first of all, multiple rounds. But anyway, if you're lost, you can look and you will find me time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I'll be waiting time after time. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting time after time. This person's never giving up on you. You you have, there's no one that compares to you. You're the only one for them. And they're like, you know what? I know if we're going to separate, no matter what, we're going to get back. We're going to always come back. We have No Scrubs by TLC. This just came out from the previous group. 
It says, a scrub is a guy that thinks he's fly and is also known as a buster. Always talking about what he wants and just sits on his broke ass. So, no, I don't want your number. No, I don't want to give you mine. And no, I don't want to meet you nowhere. No, I don't want none of your time. Ooh, I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a kind of uh uh-uh. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's um, Lovers and Friends by Lil John and the East Side Boys featuring Usher and Ludacris. But this just came out from the previous group, and y'all saw how I shuffle. Okay, I'm going to read it real fast and then get one more card. Sometime want to be your lover. Sometime want to be your friend. Sometime want to hug you. Hold hands slow. Dance while the record spins. Opened up your heart because you said I made you feel so comfortable. Used to play back then. Now you all grown up like Rudy Huxtable. I could be your bud. You could beat me up. Play fight in the dark. Then we both make up. I do anything just to feel your butt. Why you got me so messed up? I don't know, but you gotta stop tripping. Damn. Uh, okay. <laughs> y'all could have been friends first or whatever. Silly as hell. Okay, now we have Addictive by Truth Hurts featuring Rakim. He breaks me down. He builds me up. He fills my cup. I like it rough. We fuss. We brawl. We rise. We fall. He comes in late, but it's okay. He do. I do. He knows the rules. He takes care of home, though he's not alone. I'm on his knee, he keeps me clean, and gives me things, he makes me scream. He's so contagious, he turns my pages, he's got me anxious, he's what I waited for. He keeps me guessing, spontaneous, he's so persuasive, and I'm his lady. Or his man if this is like same sex, whatever. But anyway, <laughs> um, I'm curious. Okay, what's at the bottom? What is this? And that's it. It says, if you had my love by JLo. If you had my love and I gave you all my trust, would you comfort me? And if somehow you knew that your love would be untrue, would you lie to me and call me baby? Now, if I gave you me, this is how it's got to be. First of all, I won't take your cheating on me. Tell me who can I trust if I can't trust in you. And I refuse to let you play me for a fool. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm going to let this resonate for you personally. And we're going to end off the reading here. Alrighty, y'all. It is time. My favorite part. It's time to say thank you. So thank you so much for joining me in the reading. Um, I know this one wasn't too, too spicy, but I have to get some more cards. Yeah, I gotta also listen to spirits, so here we are. <laughs> anyway, to get the collective message, we're gonna be using the Monology Oracle cards and 101 Bible Promises as the huge. Um, and I guess I should mention, um, I still do offer personal readings, and this time though, I mean... I don't know if it's bad business. Look, y'all, I don't charge. I mean, because <laughs> I'm just, I'm the messenger. That's what I'm here for. It's what I'm here to do. So, like, if you want a message, um, a reading, just uh, contact me via Instagram, my angel channel, or um, you could uh, email me at, um, well, I just changed the email. I think my witch angel is still open, but... I think it's my an it's uh, angel channel mail at gmail.com. So either one of those and um, yeah, just let me know what you want to read about and then I'll record the reading and send you the private link, yeah? Um but anyway, yeah, let's get this collective message. It is a time to give rather than take with the new moon in Virgo. Um, but yes, if you have uh, subscribed um, recently or semi-recently or just ever, can I say thank you and welcome! Welcome to the one and only <laughs> Angel Army. Um, um, you are a warrior now, fam. Welcome. You in it. What we fight for? Oh, you already know. We fight for love. We fight for justice, compassion, healing the world. It's, it's a tough job, <laughs> not gonna lie. But, um, we can do it together. I believe that. So, um, here we got 
My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalms 73, 26. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being with me in this reading. Um, and I hope to see you in another one, alright? Bye-bye! Hello, and welcome to the vibe check section for group four. If you felt drawn to this group, then let's make sure it's the right one. If you got it, grab a drink or your snack. Cheers to your reading. Oh my gosh, I love hydration. Let's begin. Um, so let's start with the owl charm. I am sensing that you yourself are very wise. I am sensing a very deep ancient soul here. Um, I'm seeing that other people can be a little bit intimidated by you at times because they just know that you don't tolerate foolishness. I see that you, um, pay attention to time here, um, for you know how valuable time is, okay? And I'm sensing that you might have gotten in touch with a lot of your past lives um, and used skills that you experienced from your past lives and are using that in your current life now. And um, I'm sensing that uh it has actually surprised and yes intimidated people that they when they get to know you they're like dang this person there's more to you than meets the eye um you might find yourself that uh that you have been what's the word uh what is the word not miss what is it not misjudged um underestimated like it, people might seem that you might just not be as skilled as you might look or you're not as uh, knowledgeable as they um perceive from the surface but um the more someone knows you the more they uh, understand and experience the depth of your history of your wisdom um i see that there are times people hear you and it sounds like you speak from a different time um and it's throwing a lot of people off in life most of the time a lot of people experience you as um a highly divine being actually so i don't know if you're trying to um play that on the low low but um it don't work <laughs> Sorry, it's just your energy, your soul is very, very high vibrational. And just everyone is built with this inner antenna to pick up on frequency like that. So um, with this black, uh, what's it, moonstone, uh, I am sensing that people might just ask you for advice a lot. And it's not even planned a lot of the time. It's just they end up wanting to know your opinion. What would you do in that situation? Um, people expect to grow from you, um, that you can understand the different signs, spirits, sins for all of us. Um, I see that you might look like you're from different ethnicities or you are one that can immerse yourself in different cultures because you had been it before or it's just you can understand it very well and take it on as your own um i see that you see all and see all within yourself you see yourself in all um yeah very highly you tapped in you know you really tapped in here People expect to grow spiritually from you. Um, they will tell you about their dreams, okay? They'll tell you about the signs that they're seeing and they and they would know that you have the answers. You have the clarification for them. You can very well be a psychic, a tarot reader here, um, a Reiki master here. Um, I am sensing there are those who um, can manipulate the energies of others like on um, like an outer level, maybe not their inner soul of how they would uh, act in a situation but you can um change how they feel about certain things um but let's go ahead and pause our vibe check here if all i got just now has not been you then now's the time to choose another group or another video 
but of what I got just now has been you. Then let's get right into your reading. Okay, group four, we are going to begin with, uh oh, okay, <laughs> the karma cards. Excuse that noise in the background. I hope it stops soon. Um, we're going to be using the karma cards to get the situation leading up to your sexual encounter, all right? Also, a little bit of situation itself, and we might even get timing too. So, we have the tenth house. That's Capricorn energy. Let's continue. Cancer. Um, that's june slash july um capricorn is january um hold on december january i believe let's go one more the south node okay so this is going to tell us more about the situation i kind of want to get one more card let's just see Jupiter. This could be like um, at someone's place. You could have been like meeting up at someone's workplace, um, like or, or someone just got off of work. You know, someone's like off of the job here, and we're leaving the job. Now we have time. Yeah, I don't know. This, this is. This, I'm sensing it's like we were either you were very busy and now we're free, or they're very busy and now we're free. We're free to do whatever we want here. Jupiter, that is um, Pisces, Sagittarius energy. Um, so timing wise, this could be um, Sagittarius to Capricorn, that is November to January. Um, or this could be Pisces, um, which is March, slash april right and then um what else do we have was that it oh uh cancer yeah that was um july august so anyway um uh, yeah no this could be even like a celebration like oh hooray we did it or finally it's here something like this um i mean uh, this could be like a holiday you know i am I, I, I'm, I, I am posting this during holiday season, so whatever. It could be like around that, like maybe Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Um, sorry, not our life if that comes up. I think it's a Korean one. But anyway, um, I am sensing here that, yeah, one is just like just off the job. We just got done working. So now um, I'm able to just, this feels kind of like, um, innocent type of flirty, um, this feels like childhood sweetheart type of thing, you know, or, um, like if you ever had a kid, like you had a daughter and then, you know, the neighbor had a son and then like, they're both what, like maybe like seven years old, but they just, they play together all the time. You can just so see them. Like they, they're just so cute and like, they like each other and whatever. Like, and it's like, but it's that type of flirting, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that, that you guys would have, um, before this next sexual encounter, I'm just saying it's like... Very cutesy, um, very sweet. It's like, oh, you want this snack? Cause I got it for you. You like it? <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. You know, and here, try this. Or I don't know. It's just this is very sweet. Um, I am also sensing like with the South Node though that we are maybe beating around the bush a tiny bit. Um, so I think we might. I don't know if it's you or them or maybe <laughs> both y'all. Um are trying to uh, yeah like something about beat around the bush sorry this is my charging cable i'm trying to move it out of the way um like that oops oh okay um but yeah so it's like oh you know we're talking about these funny jokes or what i just saw on tv or what books you're into but the real thing is you guys are trying to avoid speaking about like these deeper emotions you know um, with this Jupiter expand, though, I am sensing that both of you feel very excited about each other, though, and, um, both of you, like, pick up on these little flirtations that you have between each other, and both of you are, like, hoping or wishing that this person wants to go further, okay? However, with this, um, South Node, like, I see both of you playing it really, really safe here, um, 
really watching your words, keeping it casual, keeping it fun, keeping it light. But we're not done. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm seeing an elephant here. Um, it could be someone's spiritual guide or um, a sign here, the elephant. I'm also seeing um, a lily, like a white lily, or it could be like a tiger lily. Also, the word gondola just came through. Gondola. And that's, yeah, that's a boat. That's that boat thing, like in Italy, right? A gondola ride. Also, I'm seeing a name, uh, Jessica or Chelsea. Steven also as well. Also, maybe Astrid. We have Venus. We have fourth house. Um, Venus is ruled by Taurus and Libra. Fourth house is Cancer energy. Um, so the thing about this person has nice hair. I think you might really like their hair. It could be very curly or smell very sweet. Um, you just want to like really run your hands through their hair. Libra here. That's about it, honestly. I don't really feel anything else. Also, I'm getting like a tiger. It could be like maybe year of the tiger is important. Or like tiger is another sign here, a spiritual animal. Stripes. I like your stripes. If you've got, um, you know, like those stretch marks, like you know, those lines, um, they like it. They like it. They're like, oh, look at that. Means getting got big over there. Got thick. Oh, <laughs> I got long. Oh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, mm hmm. Um, this person. Okay, so if you have facial hair, they really like your facial hair. They really like to like run their fingers over their facial hair. They like to run their hands in your facial hair. Um, I love that. I'm also sensing, um, someone who, uh, dresses in form-fitting clothes. I don't know if it's you or them, but it's very sexy, okay? That turns them on more than you know. They are trying to keep it, oof, very, very under wraps here, but you turn them on a lot. When you're wearing form-fitting clothes and you're just hanging out with them, or vice versa, oof, child. It makes them just want to take you right there. I am sensing that someone is a singer here. Like, they want to sing to you or you might want to sing to them. You might end up singing together. I'm not saying, like, making the sheet sing. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but I am sensing, like, this could be... Oh, and I got this message from a different group. Um, This could be, like, a karaoke thing. Or y'all might even just, like, be chilling at, like, one of your guys' places or wherever. And um, you might just end up singing together. You know, uh, duet. But we can get more of this place, though. I mean, with the fourth house, it being um, cancer energy, on um, my end, sensing that, well, okay, well, for one, this could be near a body of water, real talk, but also drinks can be involved. Well. We're having some drinks. Feeling a little loose with the goose. Okay. <laughs> um, but also, I do sense, like, something about taste here. Like, they want to put a good taste in your mouth. Um, so they might, like, just take you to a good dinner, like, have a suggestion of place to eat. Um, because I am sensing, like, we are, we have sat down to eat here. You know, having a meal is important with this person, um, you know, eating together, uh, it matters. It's some type of, like, bonding thing. With Venus, yeah, um, it's Taurus, Libra, energy, um, they do enjoy the physical pleasures, you know? Um, they enjoy um, catering to the senses here. Um, you know, both of these are aesthetics and internally, like, this matters. Very sensual person. Um, you might find that they are, they pay attention to detail. You might find how they complement um, the arch of your eyebrows or um, the, I don't know, the lobe of your ears you might say you got a really cute ear or something like this and it's like the, the way they compliment you is not just normal how everyone else does it's like ooh, confirmation it's like they really observed you you know they really just saw you and saw like this these special things they want you to know that they see you as special that they see you as a star 
um, that they will treat you as like a god, a goddess, okay? They want you to know that they're the ones who can do that. Um, you'll find that this person, um, I can be a good sweet talker, a good flirt here. Um, they are a charmer, the snake charmer, and they'll charm you into bed, alright? They'll charm you into bed with them, if they have the chance. They'll do it. Let's continue. Um, I want to get a card or two from the Caroline Miss Archetype cards um, to get their vibe going into this sexual encounter with you. And we're going to get the same on your side, okay? Alright, for them we have Visionary, Light Attributes, uh, what does it say? Capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. Willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. Alright, let's get one for... I think this was them. Yeah, let's get one for you. Whoa. It better not be freaking vampire! <laughs> if you're across watching, hello, how you doing? But... <laughs> Yeah, no, I want to get a different one, please, Spirit. Come on now. Here we have Hedonist, or Hedonist. The light attributes are inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life. Celebrates the beauty in yourself. Oh, I love that. That is so you. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to pull a couple of cards from the Amor is Psyche Oracle. Um, here are the cards. And then here's what the box would look like. But anyway. Let's get a couple of cards on their side and your side. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I got everything. We have loving yourself. Ooh. Yeah, no, this person, it's not about them. They want to celebrate you. They want to highlight you. Okay, I don't know what that song was that just went by in someone's car, but it kind of reminded me of Born to be Wild. Um, yeah, that was a person. <laughs> They're gonna go wild, but we're gonna get there. Let's, let's get there first, though. <laughs> okay, on your end, I'm gonna get a card. Whoa. Got two cards. We have the Game of Love. Okay, that's a shared energy. And we have Lover's... A love's embrace on your side. Um, a so you might have just like been feeling a little touched apart from them. So, um, I am sensing that you're gonna like let them know that you really like it when they touch you. That you really like it when they caress you. They, um, it feels so good when they, um, like try to need like the muscle of your legs and rub down to like the crest of like your thighs and i just see that this person they they'll do anything for you they'll do anything so just be nice okay to them because they're not going to be able to say no to you all right with this loving yourself because making you feel good makes them feel good automatically all right, all right sorry, for the <clears throat> sorry for the weird cut and my phone died <laughs> As usual on my channel because I don't be charging my phone. I'm just I just be I don't even be on my phone anyway. Um so yes, so where were we? Uh Ah yeah, okay, so like yeah, this person they have like almost no control when it comes to you. Um I think it's because it's just the your voice it, it makes all of their walls drop down. Like the way you um just look at them, they feel so freaking lucky. They're like they chose me? They want to fuck me? <laughs> um, I see in the back of this card here, um, 
these people about to go play in the waves um this person they feel like this is like a field day they're like oh my gosh i'm about to go play deep in the waves here about to get wet up in here like <laughs> they think this is just we got to take advantage of this because they don't know how when it's going to come again okay <laughs> literally but i want to get just a few more details with the Amor de Psyche Oracle of this next sexual encounter. We have unrequited desire, unrequited desire. Oops, hello. I just knock everything over, y'all. Ugh, my channel. Um, number 25. Beautiful face. Okay, so yeah, this person, they don't really want you to do too much on them because it's distracting. Yeah, like I said, like any, they would be ready to bust like immediately. So they're just, they would rather, um, they, they want to call the shots. They want to tell you what to do here. They want to set the pace and they, they want the pace to be slow. Yeah, standing alone. They want, like Loki, they want distance during sex because if you get too close, they're going to pass out from the whole shebang. Like, they are honestly trying to stay in touch with reality during your sex, okay? Um, because uh, they, you are almost like a dream coming true for them. Um, during sex, they're going to be just staring at your face, um, you know, beautiful face, because they are, one, I mean, admiring how beautiful you are, and two, they are being thankful for being in the situation with you, for being able to have sex with you, and just, but it, there's almost, it's almost like an overload for their senses because it's the physical act of um pleasuring you know each other it's also um the way you feel beneath their fingertips it's the way your body um is shaped here and then um it's the way the sheets feel beneath um your guys' skin, I just, I see that a lot of it, it they're taking it in. They have very sensitive um, senses here. So it's like, I mean, I think maybe both of you actually, but for sure they do. Um, and so I think they're going to be wrapped up in this uh, sex with you. So it's going to be hard for them to kind of just... <sighs> I, I want to say, like, keep pace with you. It's, it, you just have, might have to wake them up for like from their fantasy of having sex with you to the reality of having sex with you <laughs> being like hey i'm still here <laughs> you know because this is this person they're the type to like pass out because all of their dreams are coming true you know mm. or something else with this standing alone thing it could be a surprise for some because they haven't told a lot of how they felt um some are going to surprise you with uh, positions they want to try. Uh, yeah, like, and, and, and but it's surprising because they wouldn't seem like the person to know of such um, things. You know, they don't like the person to study maybe the Kama Sutra and they want to try you know you being upside down and then their leg over your left shoulder and then they're just <laughs> and then just like all right time to salt the pretzel <laughs> we about to go in oh i just so i think it might be a little bit surprised for you um uh, because yeah and it's gonna be nervous for them to like ask you to do this but they do want to like try out a whole bunch of different positions here um just to see what happens anyway Let's go ahead and close out this reading with, or aha, uh -huh, um, uh, some cards from Ulysses' messages. Um, here's what the box looks like. I don't know, like, if she updated her thing and if it's like a new box or something, but this is what I got. So anyway, I can stop moving the camera. First, we got finesse by Bruno Mars featuring Cardi B. 
when I'm walking with you, I watch the whole room change. Baby, that's what you do. No, my baby, don't play. Blame it on my confidence. Oh, blame it on your measurements. Mm -hmm. Okay, is it just me or does like Cardi B and Bruno Mars low-key make a good couple? I mean, I can kind of see it, you know? Like, yeah, I can see them as friends, but I don't know. I think they have good chemistry. Anyway, we also have Slide by Her. You always wearing them glasses. You don't want to let no sucker look in your eyes, huh? Better show off them eyelashes. You love what you do with a passion. Oh, that shit attractive. I fuck with you, girl. All you want to do is gas me. How I end up in the back seat? Just trying to get to the bag. We on the same page. You the same way. This could be an LGBTQ relationship. Um, also, this person... What also attracts them, other than, you know, just being physically hot, um, is the bag. Like, they are really into someone who is ambitious and wants to make something out of themselves. Um, make something out of their life. We have Complicated by Avril Lavigne. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? I see the way you're acting like you're somebody else. Gets me frustrated. Life's like this in you, and you fall, and you crawl, and you break, and you take what you get and turn it into honesty and promise me I'm never gonna find you faking. No, no, no. Okay, that was too many. And then but this one flew. It is Marvin's Room by Drake. Okay, it says, Cups of the Rosé. Bitches in my old phone. I should call one and go home. I've been in this club too long. The woman that I would try is happy with a good guy. But I've been drinking so much that I'm a caller anyway and say, that, that guy that you love so bad. I know you still think about me, the times we had. I say, fuck that nit that you think you found. And since you picked up, I know he's not around. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, y'all. <laughs> we ain't trying to wreck nobody's homes out here, okay? Anyway, let's get one more. I just feel it. We have Beautiful Liar by Beyonce featuring Shakira. Y'all, I've been getting a lot of the same songs, like throughout these readings, like in this group and like other videos. Anyway, um, it says, he said I'm worth it, his one desire. I know things about him that you wouldn't want to read about. He kissed me, his one and only, yes, beautiful liar. Tell me how you tolerate the things you just found out about. You'll never know. Why are we the ones who suffer? I have to let go. He won't be the one to cry. And finally, at the bottom, <laughs> this is the last one, I promise. Always Be My Baby by Mariah Carey. No, you'll always be a part of me. I'm part of you indefinitely. Boy, don't you know you can't escape me? Oh, darling, because you'll always be my baby. And we'll linger on. Time can't erase a feeling this strong. No way, you're never going to shake me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna let these resonate for you personally, and we're gonna end the reading off here. Alrighty, y'all. It is time. My favorite part is time to say thank you. So thank you so much for joining me in the reading. Um, I know this one wasn't too too spicy, but I have to get some more cards. Yeah, I gotta also listen to spirits. So here we are. <laughs> anyway, to get the collective message, we're gonna be using the Monology Oracle cards and. 101 Bible Promises as the huge. Um, and I guess I should mention, um, I still do offer personal readings, and this time though, I mean, I don't know if it's bad business, look, y'all, I don't charge. I mean, because <laughs> I'm just, I'm the messenger. That's what I'm here for. It's what I'm here to do. So, like, if you want a message, um, a reading, just uh, contact me via Instagram, my angel channel, or um, you could. Uh, email me at um well I just changed the email I think my witch angel is still open but I think it's my an it's uh, angel channel mail at gmail.com so either one of those and um yeah just let me know what you want to read about and then I'll record the reading and send you the private link yeah 
Um, anyway, yeah, let's get this. Collective message. It is a time to give rather than take with the new moon in Virgo. Um, but yes, if you have uh, subscribed um, recently or semi-recently or just ever, can I say thank you and welcome! Welcome to the one and only <laughs> Angel Army. Um, um, you are a warrior now, fam. Welcome. You in it. What we fight for? Oh, you already know. We fight for love. We fight for justice, compassion, healing the world. It's it's a tough job, not gonna lie, but um, we can do it together. I believe that. So, um, here we got my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalms 73, 26. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being with me in this reading. Um, and I hope to see you in another one, alright? Bye-bye!